Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. So today I've been asked a lot about embankments and stone column together. So I'm gonna make a tutorial about this. But before I start, if you're interested in engineering and learning, just subscribe to my YouTube channel, it will be a great help. So I've talked a lot about stone columns. I've made several videos. I leave a link in the description, in the description box in order for you to see everything you want to know for stone columns. And concerning the embankments, I also made a lot of videos about embankments. I'll also leave a link in the description box. So today I'm not gonna talk directly about embankments or stone column because I've made a lot of videos about them. I will talk about in the interaction between these two structures. So let's start first of all by the embankment. I will draw half of the embankment as it's symmetrical. Uh, line six. Let's draw. It says, say it's uh, five zero and six. The last point is twelve zero and zero. So this is our embankment. Then we're gonna extrude it. Extruded to apply. So this is the embankment, but it's made, but it's made out of surfaces. So before I extrude it, I want to create a surface on. On this, uh, the point created, which are 0, 0, 0, 6, uh, 5, 0, 6, and 12, 0, and 0. This is the surface. Then I can extrude the surface. It's not 12, it's 20. So this is the embankment. For now, I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna delete the surface and the lines. So now I want to draw my stone column. So before I start, you should know that stone columns in Plexus are not uh, very well modeled since they are not in the scope of Plexus. I've made a video about it. You can check it and you will know what I'm talking about. But we'll draw it as a circle. Add the arc. Let's say it's two meter radius. Let's see full circle. This is it. I'm gonna put create surface. And I'm gonna extrude my surface till minus six. So this is how we draw our project. Of course, you have different values, different uh, entry for the pile, for the for the stone column, for the embankment, but you can draw it in this way. Here for the material, for the materials, I'm not gonna gonna change it. I'm gonna leave them as the material of tutorial five. I'm only gonna add new one, or I'm gonna I'm gonna edit the peat. I'm gonna make it as rock. Here we'll change the soft soil. I've already talked about this, so uh, I'm not gonna talk a lot about the values here. You can watch the other video. Okay, I'll leave it as more Coulomb. And then 
will assign the materials here set materials this is the embankment this is the stone column then we're gonna generate the mesh okay so I'm gonna delete the poly curves since there's no use for them anymore I'm gonna generate a mesh after generating the mesh I will delete the phases and the stage construction since it's for another tutorial and then we're gonna launch the calculation So I think I'm gonna pause the video for it to take uh, much time. Okay, so the mesh has been generated. I'm gonna delete. I'm gonna delete all the phases. Okay, so there's the initial phase which will be K0 procedure, I'm gonna add another phase and a third phase and the phase one you can activate the embankment okay so we're gonna activate our volumes this is the embankment we're gonna activate it and activate the volume and deactivate the volume one and here we're gonna activate the volume one so you can do more phases you can activate only the embankments only the stone column you can activate them both and see the calculation it depends on what you're trying to do so this is it for this tutorial if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section thanks for watching